Hello you all, so welcome to my channel, I am Harshan Dikhan. Last video I have explained you how to convert the forward points into forward outright rates. And next problem, examination asked problem, I am going to explain, this is the second problem. In this problem also we have to convert the forward points into forward outright rates. I told you in the previous uh, video that uh, the forward uh, can be given either outright rates or points. The foreign exchange dealer will give quotation. If he gives quotation to customers directly outright rate he will give. How many units of home currency for one unit of foreign currency that is called outright rate for spot as well as forward outright rates will be given. But when transactions are taking place between one bank and another bank that means in case of wholesale dealing in that case the points will be given not outright rates now we have to adjust the point and find out the outright rate so last problem and this problem if you do two problems that will be more than enough to get the command on how to convert the forward points into forward outright rates and calculating the spread now before starting the second problem, I expect my viewers to have a printout of the problems which I have given in the link under my description. Take the screenshot of the points, then I will explain every point. See the second point. The following quotes are given for spot 1 month, 3 month and 6 months. Uh, Convert these into outright rates and also calculate corresponding spreads. So we are given two quotations. One quotation for dollar per pound and second quotation is given dollar per SFR. SFR stands for Swiss franc. It's the currency of Switzerland. So dollar per pound. We have to calculate what are the outright rates. Spot rate is given. Dollar 2.0015 is the bid rate and dollar 2.0030 that is the ask rate. So two rates are given bid rate and ask rate. Then one month 19 by 17, two months 26, actually it is three months only, but by mistake two months is given, doesn't matter whether it is three month or two month. So 26 by 22, 42 by 35. So three forward rates are given one month, two months, six months. Whereas SFR, dollar per SFR is dollar 0 0.6965, that is the bid rate. And dollar 0 0.6970, last two digits, instead of 65, we we'll take 70, we we'll take the, we get the ask rate. So we are given bid rate and ask rate outright for spot. Whereas forward, we are given pre uh, points, 7 by 9 is the point. 11 by 16 and 24 by 38. In the previous class, I told you how to find out whether foreign currency is going at premium or discount. If it is premium, add the point. If it is discount, subtract to the points. So how we can know whether the forward foreign currency is going at premium or discount. If the bid point, if the bid point is greater than the ask point, if the bid point, write it down, maintain a notebook and write down the point. If the bid point is more than the ask point or first quote, first point is greater than the second point, the foreign currency is going at discount. The foreign currency goes at discount. Here, this table is given in the problem, dollar per pound. So here you see one month. 19 by 17 to so 19 first point is greater here 26 by 22 first point is greater 42 by 35 first point is greater so in the first case the first point is greater so the foreign currency goes at discount one month 19 by 17 26 by 22 42 by 35 all the first points are greater than the second point. So foreign currency goes at discount. So we have to subtract the discount. 
so we have to subtract the discount right now for second one dollar per sfr for dollar per sfr 7 by 9 then 11 by 16 24 by 38 the first point is lower 7 by 9 11 by 16 first point is lower 24 by 38 first point is lower the first point is lower for so the foreign currency goes at premium 7 by 9 11 by 16 24 by 38 premium the premium should be added so for one currency discount the second quotation premium that's it. that point you remember now remaining part is calculative part <clears throat> mechanically we have to add the points or we have to subtract the points so two tables i have prepared the first table is for dollar per pound and the second table is for dollar per sfr right so two tables maturity one month uh, bid rate ask rate spread maturity bid rate ask rate spread and here spot rate one month two months six month first we'll take the spot rate the spot rate is given dollar 2.0015 bid rate dollar 2.0030 dollar 2.0015 dollar 2.0030 that is the ask rate so first we finish off this bid rate and ask rate then we'll come to spread afterwards <coughs> now one month <clears throat> one month two months six months for all these months it is going at discount because the bid uh, point is greater than the ask point all are discount so we have to subtract these points we have to subtract here i have made the calculation for one month bid rate ask rate bid rate ask rate bid rate and ask rate is even for, for same for the spot rate spot rate 2.0015 and 2.0030 this is the bid rate and this is the ask rate now we subtract the points what are the points here 19 and 17 subtract 19 0.0019 and subtract 17 0.0017 so here uh, 2.0015 minus 0 0.0019 so you get 1.9996 so here 2.0030 minus 2.0.0017 uh, you will get 2 point so this is the bid rate and this is the ask rate for one month so you can see here one month 1 1.996 and 2.0013 so one month completed now i am coming to the two months so first of all outright rate 2.0015 2.0030 same we are adjusting the point on the spot rate the spot rate is this one now what are the two months 26 and 22 so subtract minus 26 and minus 22 so 2.0015 minus 2, uh, 0.0026 1.9989 similarly 2.0030 minus 0 0.0022 so 30 minus 22 is 08 2.0008 so this is the bid rate and ask rate for how many months? Two months. So here you can see two months. 1.9989, 2.0008. Now I am coming to six month. Six month the points are 42 and 35. Subtract 42 and 35 from the spot rate. Spot rate is same. So 42, 1.9973, 1.995. 1.9973 1.995 that's all so we have converted the forward points into forward outright rates now the same procedure we follow for dollar per sfr maturity bid ask spread now what do you mean by spread actually in the previous uh, video also i told you the formula for spread is ask minus bid so ask is this rate bid is this rate so 2.0030 minus 2.0015, you will get 0 0.0015. 2.0013 minus 1.0096, 0.0017. Similarly, this value minus this value. 1.0095 minus 1.0973, you get 0 0.002. That's all. Now here, spot rate. Spot rate is $0 0.69765 per SFR. 
$0.6965 per SFR here $0.6965 per SFR and $70 $0.6970 6970 per SFR. This is the spot rate. Now forward points. The forward point, the first point is smaller. 7 by 9, 11 by 16, 24 by 38. So in all these cases, the bid point is smaller. So the foreign currency goes at premium. So we have to add the points. So in all these cases, we have to add these points to the spot rate here I have shown dollar per SFR for one month bid ask for two months bid ask for three months bid and ask spot rate spot rate same to same we have taken 0 0.6965 and 0 0.6970 this is the ask rate right so same bid rate ask rate bid rate ask rate spot rate same I have taken now we have to add the premium. Here we have subtracted the discount. Premium will be added. What is the premium here? 7 and 9. So 0 0.0007. Because only one digit is get there. So last 7 we will add up. Right? So 0 0.6972. Similarly last 9 we have to add. So 0 0.6979. So we got the outright rate for one month. 0.6972. 0.6979 for one month for two months the points are 11 and 16 so we have to add 11 and add 16 0 0.6976 0 0.6986 two months over now six month six month the points are 24 and 38 so 24 and 38 so add up you'll get 0 0.6989 and 0 0.7008 per SFR now spread is ask minus bid will get the spread that's all these two problems make you perfect regarding how to convert the forward points into forward outright rates and how to calculate the spread these two problems are f so watch these two videos two three four times then definitely you can get the full command without committing any mistake you can get full marks in examination so the next problem will be a different type of problem in this unit. So in examination, you may get one theory, one problem. So you should be perfect on problems you can, because you can get full marks in problem. In theory, we cannot expect. You may get or you may not get. But problem, surely you will get. Only the thing is, you have to remember the rules, procedure. That's it. Okay, so if you are satisfied, give a like to this video. Share my channel and subscribe if you have not yet to subscribe my subscribers are very slowly moving that means the viewers are more than four times than my subscribers to so subscribe it gives me more motivation if you subscribe properly so inshallah we'll continue the next problem in the next video